Okay, I'm going to show you how to de-swizzle and re-swizzle with Open8. To start off with, you go down here and click the debug tools. And then you can click on Field Debug Render. And now you can find what you want by scrolling around with the keyboard or the mouse. Or you can type in what you want. And that'll filter out the results for you. So right now I think we are on... Yeah, we're on BDF for it's uh, that uprest. Not sure actually. Stop this. So here's BDF for it one, and it is the low res textures right now. You, you can click on um, or hit the zero button to make the little menu go away, and you can see the animations are working and everything looks pretty good. So, bring the menu back up. You can switch to a different texture or a different screen by going left and right. Or you can go back by hitting the back button and changing. You, know, you can change what you want in here. There you go. So, now we can. You can click on D Swizzle. After you quick click the Swizzle, you'll get a window pop up with the folder, and you can see all the different um, frames of the animation, and the lights, and and the this is, I believe this is a darkened filter. Um, not sure. Yeah, I think two's to darken. One is, I think that's twenty-five percent or fifty. Per, no, that's fifty percent. I think I don't know. I forget. So then you got the different things here, different different pieces of the texture. So you can go and up up res all these by like taking Photoshop and merging the layers you want, and then running them through your upscaler and whatnot, and and then you would, you know, you know the gist. So after you've de done your work to these files, as long as they're the same, they can be this. They have to be the same aspect ratio. But you can, after you upscale them, that has to be a, the same aspect ratio. They have to be an even division. So if you take the resolution of your new texture and divide the resolution of your old texture, there should be no remainder or you will get rounding errors and it'll look bad so but now you can go back to our other scene here and you can uh, re-swizzle our texture back to being something that you can import into Final Fantasy VIII Remaster you just have to click on re-swizzle And now you can see the uh, the texture for it after it's been re-swizzled. And it looks like there's no conflicts. If there's a palette conflict, it would put it into its own file. But because there is none, it doesn't produce any new texture file. So now let's see about getting up-res versions of everything. So what we'll do first is we'll go and delete the files we're not going to use. Um, well, that must have been from a dump of... Oh, got that extra old files in here. So we delete all that. Alright. Now we can go back to... Uh, oh. Now for the up-res textures, we just need to make sure to put them in the Final Fantasy VIII textures folder. So I've got a couple 
thing zero, but I uh, renamed it to back to disable the um, disable the textures. You can just name it something else, anything to make it so the textures aren't loaded. But now to get the lo textures to load, I got I got in here the angel wing textures. Doesn't really matter what the folder it is in for Open8 anyway. It just cares about what the file name is scans the entire tree so, um, so now we can go back in here and do the program here and if I click on the this the top here it will uh, reload the up res textures at least it's whoa that's interesting Usually we see a bunch of broken textures, but this is just not showing any of the animations. It's like, so it's not so, not so bad. Uh, now to fix this, I have to go to back into the folder here, and go to the BD BDIN five folder. And see the animations here are all the wrong names. So, so this would be BD1. And I think everything else is in that order. It's probably that. Okay, so what I do is rename this to uh, back or something like that. It's probably in the right order, so I just got to go down the line and rename these until, and I could even go back and after I put a file, or I can just reload it, and it should, doesn't seem to have taken any kind of effect. Mm -hmm. Unless it's on the other, yeah, so, so we good. We need the rest of them, I think. So we go down here, and this should be two. And three. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this. They might be uh, another order. I have a set of files to know what they're supposed to be. But I'm just kind of hoping they're in the right order. Um, and this is what it would be like if you were going to load these textures into the remaster. So I'm mirroring what the remaster is doing instead of doing it the way Tonberry does. Now it won't be perfect, but we'll see. Okay, so we go back to the game here and reload those textures. There it goes. See, it's working now. And I turn off the, uh, now I can see here that this light is broken. I think either that or there's some darkness texture here. That is overriding this. Um, it's hard to see because I don't have it set up to be able to turn off the layers. But but that's what the upper res texture should look like in game if you loaded it up into the remaster. So now to fix this, to uh, I mean to we can also deswizzle and reswizzle this now. So. Because the textures are loaded, the game will use these instead of the uh, original textures when you click the button. Now, as you can see, these are what the remaster or the upscaled versions of the textures look like when you've deswizzled them. I mean, it's basically the same thing as you saw before, but these are higher quality now. They're. Uh, what resolution are they? These ones are 1408 by 
a 896. Not exactly sure what the scale is on that. But it looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, you know, it's uh, not exactly sure where the bug is in the uh, in that light. Oh, it looks like it's here. I think this light's cropped off here and here. And it should go all the way out, or at least in a circular manner. But I could be wrong. I haven't uh, verified this. Uh, but you could probably see on the previous frame what it looked like when I had the old, the base version loaded. So now that this is all here, like, here's the darkened filter, I believe. You can kind of see how it's darker here and lighter here. And this does like a sub subtraction from the uh, whatever's below to make, to kind of give it a shadow over the top of everything. Like over here is something like that. And okay, so now that we have deswizzled the upscale textures, now we can reswizzle them. Basically, anything that's in the in the deswizzled folder will be the what is reswizzled when you push the reswizzle button. So so we can go down to here and click the click re-swizzle. And it'll, you can see the animations freeze up because it's, it's a bigger image. It takes longer to work through. So then now it should be done. So there's the re-swizzled uh, of the upscaled images. Now let's see, it did not build any new palettes. So basically these images should be identical uh, to the, these files, the ones that are in the folder right now. Um, where'd they go? <laughs> I get so confused. Too many things, too many things open. So these should be identical to not that. This one. There we go. These two should be identical. Pretty much. And they look pretty good. Might not be perfect, but they're there. We got about nine files here. I don't remember what was in the original, but we can find out real quick. So to get rid of So we can either hide this folder or hide these files by like putting them into a RAR or something. We can hide them, like put them in a RAR file or something. I've done that before. Add to zip and delete. There we go. So now they're now the game can't see them. So now when we go back in and reload uh, them, they will load the back the high, the low res textures. Okay, so the light does the same thing in the low res version. Maybe you're not meant to be able to see that. I don't know. I haven't been in game long enough to remember exactly where parts of this you can actually see. But they do render a lot of this, considering the fact that this light doesn't go all the way over here. But it's that's the way it is in the main game. So I guess it's... I realized why I was getting extra textures exported. I have the this here, it toggles dump textures on load. Well, on load dump textures. So when this is on and you reload the texture, it'll dump all of the data about that texture, like the basically the swizzled version of the texture and pretty much all the palettes, I believe, to the folder that's that the similar folder to what the deswizzle is in, like the, yeah, you saw it earlier in the video. Anyway, so the, um, this only works with the 2000 version and the, and the 2013 Steam version. Um, it's 
work in progress on the remaster. That's why I'm trying to future proof by supporting the remaster upscale textures and not necessarily the 2013 Tomberry textures because, you know. <laughs> so, so that's why you have to put the files into the 2013 folder inside the textures folder or whatever, or you, it'll work with the CD version as well. And that's why you have to be in those folders not necessarily where it would be yet in the remaster. But after you're done working with the file, you should be able to copy it out of the reswizzle folder, put it into the texture folder, make sure everything works right. And then you could copy that into the remasters folder and use the uh, demaster plugin to load the textures into the game. And, uh, so, yeah. I think I think that's everything. Yeah. I mean, if you guys have any questions, you can leave it in the comments and I can add another video to the playlist about it. I just wanted to record a video with audio so you could understand how it works.